Welcome to the Fringe News with Reverend Jeff. Tonight's news has all kind of odd stories in it, so let's kick things off. Starting out the crypto news tonight is this additional footage from the Connie Vader channel of a claimed Sasquatch attack. Some time ago, I reported on a Bigfoot story regarding a hunter who supposedly gone missing after having a run-in with a Sasquatch and only his camera was found. Some people say the story isn't real, but looking at this footage, I have to wonder what's really going on. Check out youtube.com slash sunvator to see the rest of the full clip. Next up, meet the Wasatch family Sasquatchers as they head out into the Bigfoot world for the very first time in 2013. They admit they know nothing about finding Bigfoot, but, but they sure know how to have fun. Check the first clip out on their channel, it was very entertaining to say the least. See a description for the link to the details. Now check out the big old brain on Phil Polding of the Para Breakdown channel. Phil took the time to break down the Beacon New York Bigfoot video, and it appears he's got the goods once again. By zooming in and stabilizing the video, Phil shows us the answer. Be sure to check out youtube.com slash parabreakdown to find out. And finishing up the crypto news tonight, I guess it's time for a little bit of just heartless self-promotion. Come on by and check out the Squatchers Lounge podcast archive where I invited Christopher York as my co-host and we interviewed Cliff Barackman from Finding Bigfoot and Craig Flippy, movie maker, on their upcoming DVD Bigfoot release, Bigfoot Road Trip. And to get to talking all things Sasquatch, check out youtube.com slash the Bigfoot Report to catch the show. Now starting off the out of this world news tonight, check out this cat from Turkey as he's talking about witnessing a UFO at Lake Van. According to the man, one UFO actually navigated inside the larger craft and the two of them took off together and left in a hurry. Not before he was able to grab these pictures though. Believe him or not, he doesn't care. He has the evidence in his hands to prove it. Go to youtube.com slash fans to watch the whole video. And once again UFOs hit the news and this time it was seen by hundreds of people. Bakersfield, California, many people were out and about when the several strange lights hit the sky and started showing up all over town. So much so that the news crew actually had time to interview several people on the event. Click out youtube.com slash alien UFO clips to see the actual story. And finally tonight, I'll leave you with a portion of this great newscast reel I found. The 12-minute clip chronicles all of the weirdest UFO news over the past few years and it's well worth the watch. Your Operation Condor message of the night is, The Goose is Cooked. The Goose is Cooked. This has been Fringe News Number 10. I'm Reverend Jeff, and may the Squatch be with you. A UFO in China's skies forced Zhaoshan Airport to stop operations on July 7th. Outbound flights were grounded after the unidentified flying object was detected by a flight crew. The incident has captured the attention of Chinese media. And theories about the UFO's identity are burning up on the Internet as well. They include everything from a hidden U.S. bomber to an elaborate man-made hoax. For now, the UFO continues to be a mystery. A spokesman from China's Civil Aviation Administration confirmed to ABC News that the matter is under investigation. Some Chinese residents are on edge this morning after another apparent UFO sighting. It's the second one in two weeks. The first sighting was on July 7th, and an airport had to be shut down. All right, that's a UFO if I've ever seen one. Yeah, can you that's identify undeniable. it? That's undeniable. The airport had to be shut well, down after people apparently saw twinkling lights above the airport terminal. 17 flights had to be diverted. The last, the latest sighting happened just two days ago, and people say they saw four lantern-like objects forming a diamond shape in the air, hovering in the sky for over an hour. An right. aviation expert say they don't know what it was. It wasn't a plane. Scientists from all over the world are trying to figure out what caused a mysterious blue light to spiral in the sky over Norway on Wednesday. As UFO sightings go, this one was as good or as weird as it gets. A light appearing high in the Arctic sky, baffling those who saw it and exciting a lot of comment. Early yesterday morning, just before dawn, this appeared in the Norwegian sky.